11. Hey what is going on you guys my name is Sub-Zero Extabyte and I am shooting right back at you with another video today and guess what this will all be about? Well I bet that you will never guess it, so I will just tell you slash show you. So let me do that. Well this house right here it is an orphanage it is all very sad and stuff but they have got all of these babies running around here and I can assure you that these little buggers are one of the most annoying beings that you will ever be able to come across. Meaning that I offered my help to this orphanage to help them with all sorts of stuff including the babysitting of these things that I will gladly call demon spawn. I mean it is what it is with these kids you know. I cannot do anything about the fact that they were raised by freaking savages or something I just want to make sure that they got to be a better version of themselves. I mean it will take me a lot of time to get anything done in this house so I am just hoping that you guys are willing to stick with me throughout today because you know, we have to get a lot of stuff done and I have no idea how I am going to be managing all of this. And one way to do this of course is to just get rid of all of the babies. Well I already ran that plan through the owner of this orphanage and she said that we could do no such thing so you know I am in a little bit of a pickle right now when it comes to what I have to be doing today. Since I really did not think that anything like this were about to happen. Now I will actually tell you that I am able to say that I took too much on my plate but I will finish it. There is no way that I am going to let these poor kids down even if they will be the literal death of me. So I bit more off than I could chew, but I will keep chewing until I am able to swallow everything that is coming at me and I will be the one coming on top of this today. Now I will guess that we would just continue with the whole cleaning process even though these babies are making it rather hard for us to do any actual work around here. It is like one step forward and two steps back with these kids. And of course I would rather have it to be like two steps forward and no steps back. But that is not happening because I cannot just throw these kids in the trash can or anywhere else where I do not have to work with them. But you know I guess I will just go for three steps forward and two steps back. Which means that we will have to put in a ton of work to actually get this done. And it will be a lot of work like I said. And it will take us a lot of time. But like I said previously this is all for a good cause because we are here to help these little kids out. And we are not here for ourselves because we are not getting paid or anything for this. I was just like thinking out loud with some friends and I was like how about we go help or do something for a good cause. And at first everyone was like well no it is not that. But then after some time everyone came around and wanted to help these kids. And at that point I already changed my mind on it so they basically had to drag me down to this dump because I did not want to go for the life of me. I mean would you look at this place this is no place for me to be running around in. I am a very delicate person and I do not like it when my hands get dirty. Especially when I just got done with doing my nails so please would everyone just excuse me for a second while I make sure that my personal space does not get invaded all too much. It is not like anyone could actually do something about it. But you know, all that there is to do is a couple of these rooms to finish up. So it is not as bad as I made it sound but then again that does not take away the fact that it will take a long freaking time. It might not be hard work, but it will actually be a lot of work. Which means that I am working for no money. I am doing this because I am that darn selfless and I want to show you guys that sometimes you have to care about your community and that is one of the reasons why I ended up picking this job. I mean it is not like I got busted with doing something by the cops and this is my way of paying my civil service thing off. And no that is not what happened, no matter what the people and especially Dennis will be telling you I had nothing to do with any illegal end of ours and of course I would not put my whole career on the line just to get some freaking like or anything. I mean T is not just my life that I am putting on the line here. If one of these babies actually ends up pooping on the camera or anything like that, well that just means that I am even more ready to get these kids and hunt them down. Now I will not be killing them but I will be heaving a very lengthy and a really hard to hear conversation conversation with them so that they will be sure of the fact that I was not the one creating this mess. I am just the one they got off of Craig's list to actually come do this type of job because they are like crazy poor. Even though they almost did not let me pass that does not mean that they can let me do all of the work. I mean who do they think they are? Like do they think they can just let me do all of their stupid work without me getting like super duper amazing diamonds for it in return? I think they are actually crazy but hey look at me. Right now it clearly does look like I am doing everything in the house here. Do you have any idea how big of a task it is to keep a household that consists out of so many babies going? 
but I mean I will be doing all of the work because I am just that much of a nice guy. I mean everything is lit fam. That is what the people are saying these days. Or at least it were the kids out back by my place who were yelling that nonsense around. But that does not matter of course we have to make sure that these kids right here are the ones who are kept at bay. And not the kids in my backyard. Although I would it for them if they would just get their butts into someone else their backyard instead of mine because I am just not ready for all of this right now. Because look at me here I am running circles around some freaking children because they cannot be kept at bay. But I can assure you that by the end of the day these little ones will be sleeping so tight that they might not wake up until the 4th of July. In which they will wake up crying because of all of the loud fireworks that are going on and then I will be the one who has the last laugh. And oh my. I will that be good. I can already taste the sweet taste of pure victory. Now of course that actually means that I will have to get them into their beds and get them to sleep. Otherwise everything that I am saying right here will not make any sense at all. But you know we are not here together because everything makes sense in life right? Sometimes we just have to do stuff because we need to do them instead of because we want to do them. And of course getting some kind of order back into this place is my vice. But maybe some other guy will not be with me on this one. But like I said that of course does not matter because there are more things at stake here. Higher stakes are at stake if that makes any sense. Because I am not just here for my reputation so that this will be held high. Well of course I am here for my reputation. I mean everyone does this kind of work just to boost their reputation right. I mean I probably would not be here if it were not for the great cookies, the laughs, the sweats and of course the boosting of my social reputation. I mean come on, but that is not all of it because to actually boost my reputation I will be needing to get stuff done. Stuff that I do not want to do, but since I said that I would go and do them, that means that I will have to keep my promise and I will make sure that I can get these kids in line and I do not care what I have to do for this to actually come true. Because if I do not end up fixing all of these things for these kids that will mean that I failed the one thing that I promised to do and that was to just come clean with these kids and make it out for them. I would be the one who would bring balance to the force. Even though Senator Palatine is evil. Oh wait I am quoting Star Wars again I really have to stop doing that because man this is getting weird even for me. Because I have no idea how I cannot come up with anything else than Star Wars. I bet that these little kids have never ever even seen Star Wars in their short little life. I mean it is not that bad. But on the other hand it actually is quite that bad now is it? Now I just want to make sure that we are all on the same page. Meaning that I want us to be ready for everything that is lying ahead of us. Meaning that if we do not succeed today. Or rather if I not succeed today. I mean I will succeed. Maybe, I hope, someday, I have faith, but that doesn't matter, that I would be the one to blame for all of it. It is easy as that. I told you guys that I was the one who came up with everything that we are doing today and I am the one who thought that this would be a good idea. Now it turns out that it was not that great of an idea so we might have to get a rain check on that. But if we do not finish everything that we are doing right now in an ordinary fashion that will just mean that I broke my promise to myself. I was the one saying that I wanted to get all of this done for these poor kids and now I am going to be the one who cannot handle all of this anymore. And that is not what I want. I mean I have no idea what what were to happen to me if I would just give up right now and actually not get anything done today? I mean come on you guys, you cannot tell me that you do not want to see me fail. I mean seeing me fail is one of the reasons why most people are in here in the first place. Now I'm not saying that all of you are here solely for that reason. But I am also not saying that you guys would not be laughing at me if you were to find out that I was going to flake on these little kids. So I will try my darn hardest to actually get something done for these little ones in order for them to fully trust me and maybe build a little tiny baby army just for myself. I wonder what anyone would try to do to me if I actually were to be able to do that. That would just be amazing. I mean come on a giant army of teeny tiny little kids. That would just be bomb.com you guys. That would just be bomb.com. Bomb.com in the way of like. Super cool. I thought that's how you guys say it these days. I mean it could just be me I'm not sure but that's what I read everywhere. In the comments for example. I could be wrong. Don't judge me. But you know I am actually starting to go crazy right now because of all of these people. I am not sure but something is happening to me. My head is spinning and I am starting to feel really freaking dizzy. What is going on here? Will someone please explain to me what in the world is going on here and please explain this to me like I am a 2 year old because it really freaking looks like I am a 3 year old. I.
am just trying to get that out there alright. So wait what exactly is going on right now? So we got out of that garage and now we are an infant. Is that what is going on here right now? Wait a second maybe I could be using this to my advantage. Maybe I could act like I have been a little kid all along and I would kind of like get out of my community service. Oh wait I did not say that I mean my pack that I took when I joined the Peace Corps. Alright I do not know how I am going to talk my way out of all of this but I do know. But I need all of your help. I mean the only thing that I can come up with is the fact that I can kind of like act like I am just another one of these babies. Then just escape and get my little baby but to Dr. Oswald so that he could turn me back into my former self. And no one would ever know what would have happened to me and they would have no idea about the fact that I told them that I would restore the chaos in the galaxy. And since I did not do that I failed myself but I just do not want this to go public alright. That is basically all that I'm hoping hoping for right now and what I am also hoping for is for the fact that all of these caretakers can leave me alone for a while because they are being really freaking clingy right now I mean come on man this is not fun I am just trying to find my way out of this and all these guys are doing is following me and trying to take me home or something I mean at least buy me break fast first you fools I am never going to go with any of you strangers and neither should you by the way. I mean I am not trying to sound like your mom and dad but on the other hand you should never go with someone that you do not know. Just say politely no to them and walk back to people you know so that they do not come back after you. Just like I am doing right now. I mean I am just running out of ways to get these guys to knock off for a second. So let's see if we can actually get rid of these people. I mean come on you guys leave a kid alone for a second it is not like you are my mother nor my father I mean you all dress the same what is up with that it is like you are some really badly orchestrated boy band who are trying their darn hardest to kidnap me right now but I can assure you that nothing like that will be happening to me today because I will be the one who knocks and of course I can assure you that I will not be getting kidnapped because the only nap this kid is going to take is the nap I am going to take in my own bed when I am back home after I drop by Doc Oswald's lab to turn me back into normal adult sub again because man I cannot stand these tiny little freaking legs that I am walking around in right now. I had no clue that something like this would be so freaking hard but of course I am getting overruled by my own judgment again. What a freaking surprise that will be. I mean come I never though that anything would end up like this but I kind of had my bet on the fact that I'm going to go out like a freaking candle and I would not be able to make it through the end of the day with these kids. And I actually did not end up being like that so I guess that is the good part right I am just going to try to get out of the hands of these freaking caretakers because they are creeping me out right now I mean I have seen a lot of weird men in my time but these guys are really beating it by a bunch that is all that I'm sure of right now now of course we do not have to escape and we could just surrender but you know that is just not something that Sub-Zero X to buy dose or stands for I mean come on when have I ever called my defeat that is right that is something that I do not do because I do not condone it. I never do. It's something I learned when I was just one minute old. My parents looked me deep in the eye and they somehow transmitted this thought through my brains which said, never give up, never surrender. I always held on to that. And oh my god creepy guy hiding in a car is creepy. Let's get to that air vent I bet that they will not be able to get in here. So right now I am the one who knocks again. Even though it will just be teeny tiny knocks instead of like really dangerous and empowering knocks because you know I am like half a foot tall right now. Okay maybe a little bigger. Let's say that right now I am actually a foot long sub. That is just something that I had hoped to never call myself but you know how it is. I am breaking all of my rules today and I am kind of enjoying it. What I am not so enjoying though is the fact that I am so small that I could literally fit into a subway bag made for a foot long subway sandwich. So you know I am not really fond of that whole idea but like I said I am the one who wanted to play with the fire so all there is left to do right now is burn baby burn baby burn. That is all that I can do. That is actually a pretty good lesson to take from this right now. Once you do something that you should not have done, you will be the one that has to bear the consequences. And by you right now I actually mean me. So you know, just so that this is clear, I am not blaming this on anyone but myself. Like I said I am the one who wanted to play with the fire so I guess I am going to be the one with all the trouble now. Even though I said that I am going to be performing my last escape so it is better that you guys do not see this. So I hope that I will see you back tomorrow, as the normal me.